The humid Texas air crackled with anticipation, thick with the promise of history in the making. Every breath felt electric, as if the very atmosphere was charged by the dreams of those who had gathered. Thousands gathered, eyes fixed on the gleaming stainless steel rocket. Starship, poised to change humanity's future. Some had traveled across continents, drawn by the allure of witnessing a new chapter in space exploration. On the launch pad, the integrated stack of Super Heavy and Starship stood as a monument to audacious ambition. Towering above the coastal plain, it was both a marvel of engineering and a symbol of boundless possibility. The final countdown echoed across Boca Chica, each number a drumbeat toward history. The crowd's voices joined in, uniting strangers in a single, breathless moment. Inside mission control, tension and focus reigned as engineers monitored thousands of data points. Every screen flickered with vital information, every heartbeat synchronized with the countdown. The command was given, water erupted from the deluge system, shielding the pad from the coming inferno. The hiss of water was the last sound before the storm. 33 Raptor engines ignited, unleashing a ground-shaking roar that vibrated through the crowd. The sound was primal, a thunder that seemed to shake the very earth. Flames billowed, the rocket's power staggering, a testament to relentless engineering. The air shimmered with heat, and the ground trembled beneath the force. For a few heartbeats, the rocket strained against its clamps, engines building to full thrust. It was a moment suspended in time, the boundary between earth and sky about to be crossed. Then, release. The 120-meter-tall rocket began its majestic ascent, clearing the tower in a fiery plume. The crowd erupted, their cheers nearly lost in the thunder of engines. Go Super Heavy! Go Starship! rang out. The journey had begun. In that instant, hope and ambition soared alongside the rocket. The ascent was a symphony of controlled violence, the rocket a silver arrow aimed at the heavens. Each second carried it farther from Earth, closer to the unknown. The roar washed over spectators, a physical force in their chests. It was a reminder of the raw power required to break free from gravity's grip. For the teams on the ground, a successful liftoff was the first major hurdle. Relief and pride mingled with anticipation for the challenges ahead. The initial moments were flawless, setting the stage for the critical maneuvers ahead. The world watched, breath held, as Starship's journey into the future truly began. Starship climbed skyward, its engines roaring as it accelerated toward Max Q, the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure, where the forces of flight and the resistance of the atmosphere collide. The vehicle's structure was tested to its limits, the air a formidable invisible wall pushing back with tremendous force. 33 Raptor engines performed in perfect concert, their synchronized power driving the rocket through this critical challenge, each engine contributing to the controlled chaos of ascent. Telemetry streamed in, every number, every graph, every signal confirming all systems green, engine parameters nominal, and the rocket's health intact. The flight computer made constant, minute adjustments steering the rocket precisely, compensating for shifting winds and the ever-changing stresses of flight. The crowd watched in awe as the rocket became a bright point in the sky, trailing a white contrail that marked its path through the heavens. Onboard cameras revealed the Earth's curvature, the blue sky fading to black as the rocket climbed higher, leaving the familiar world behind. For future crewed missions, a smooth ride through Max Q would be paramount, ensuring the safety and comfort of astronauts on their journey to space. Passing Max Q was a silent victory, confirmed by mission control, a crucial milestone achieved, celebrated quietly but with immense relief. The rocket now soared into thinner air, accelerating rapidly toward orbital velocity, leaving the densest part of the atmosphere behind. The greatest aerodynamic challenge was behind them, and the journey to space continued with renewed momentum. The mission pressed on to its next critical stage, each moment bringing Starship closer to the edge of space and the promise of new frontiers. With Max Q behind, Super Heavy neared the end of its primary task, the next step stage separation. SpaceX's daring hot staging technique, main engine cutoff was commanded, most Raptor engines shut down, a few remained lit. Simultaneously, Starship's six engines roared to life. For a brief instant both stages fired, Starship's exhaust blasting the booster apart. Hot staging eliminated complex mechanisms, providing continuous thrust and efficiency. Onboard cameras captured the Starship's plume, expanding, the ship pulling away smoothly. The separation was flawless, 
a high-altitude ballet at thousands of kilometers per hour. This success proves SpaceX's guidance and control systems. Hot staging's reliability is crucial for Moon and Mars ambitions. With separation complete, Starship continued its ascent. Meanwhile, Super Heavy began its dramatic return to Earth. Super Heavy, now separated, arced back toward the atmosphere. Its mission demonstrate reusability with a soft landing. The boost back burn ignited, redirecting the booster toward its Gulf of Mexico landing zone. Grid fins deployed, steering the vehicle through re-entry. The booster's base faced the oncoming air, enduring intense heat. A re-entry burn slowed its descent, reducing stress and heating. The final landing burn was perfectly timed, engines firing to slow the booster above the water. With a final plume, Super Heavy executed a soft splashdown, upright before tipping as planned. Cheers erupted in mission control, a monumental achievement for reusability. As Super Heavy returned, Starship's upper stage pressed on. Its six Raptor engines burned for minutes, pushing it to the edge of space on a suborbital path. Onboard cameras showed the Gulf and Florida below, Earth's beauty against the blackness. Engine cutoff, Seco, left Starship, coasting silently at over 150 kilometers altitude. Engineers tested attitude thrusters and payload bay mechanisms, gathering vital data. This phase proved Starship's capability as a spacecraft, not just an upper stage. The ship maintained stable orientation, preparing for re-entry. Its path would take it to splashdown in the Indian Ocean, nearly halfway around the world. Starship began its fiery return, facing its most dangerous and critical trial yet. Instead of a traditional heat shield, it performed a daring belly flop, using its body to slow down dramatically. At over 25,000 km h, superheated plasma enveloped the ship relentlessly testing its ceramic tiles and engineering. Four large flaps made constant rapid adjustments, keeping Starship stable and precisely on course. The flight computer commanded every move, pioneering a new era of active aerodynamic control. A communications blackout ensued as plasma blocked signals, teams on the ground could only wait anxiously. After minutes of intense heat and pressure, contact was restored. Starship had survived re-entry. The ship was stable, its advanced thermal protection system proven and ready for future missions. Starship, having survived the intense heat and chaos of re-entry, fell through the lower atmosphere in a controlled belly flop. This maneuver, once thought impossible for a rocket of this size, allowed Starship to bleed off speed and maintain stability as it plummeted toward Earth. The ship's aerodynamic flaps adjusted constantly, guiding its descent with precision. The final challenge awaited, the landing flip. In a split second, Starship would have to transition from a horizontal fall to a vertical orientation, a feat requiring perfect timing and coordination. In the last kilometers, three Raptor engines roared back to life, swinging the ship upright in a dramatic pirouette. The entire vehicle pivoted on a column of fire, a breathtaking display of engineering and control. The landing flip was flawless, Starship now pointed its engines at the ocean, perfectly aligned for the final descent. Engines throttled down for the final burn, slowing the ship for a gentle splashdown. The precision required in these moments was immense, as even the smallest error could spell disaster. Onboard cameras showed the ocean rushing up, then slowing as engines fired. The world watched, breath held, as Starship neared the surface. With a final burst, Starship touched the water, mission complete. The vehicle floated intact, a testament to years of relentless innovation. Every major objective had been met. Liftoff. Controlled booster return, spaceflight, re-entry, and landing. Each step was a leap forward for reusable rocketry. In mission control, celebration erupted, years of work realized in 10 minutes. Engineers and technicians embraced, their efforts culminating in this historic moment. Outside, the crowd cheered, witnessing a watershed moment for space travel. The excitement was palpable, as people realized they were watching history unfold. Starship proved its architecture and rapid reusability, opening doors to new possibilities. The dream of affordable frequent access to space was now closer than ever. Permanent settlements on the Moon and Mars now seem within reach. Humanity's future as a multi-planetary species felt not just possible, but inevitable. On this day, Starship didn't just fly. It opened a new chapter in human exploration, inspiring a generation to look up and dream bigger than ever before.